So I'm going to give you a quick way to remember the key differences between Addison's and Cushing's disease. So the first thing I want you to do is to write out this prefix here, hyper and hypo. Again, remember because of the E, that's why I'm going to write this first, because the E in hyper comes before the O in hypo. So hyper first before O. Again, I'm going to write Addison's and I'm going to write Cushing's. Why? Because I know the A in Addison's comes before the C in Cushing's. And then I'm going to write down these in alphabetical order. So I'm going to start with calcemia, that's a C. And then I'm going to write glycemia, which is a G. So C comes before G, and then calemia, and then natremia. So I'm also going to do the same thing on this other side. And again, I have tension right down here because tension doesn't follow the trend. So tension is always going to be on the opposite of our trend. And the best way to go about it is to go with hyper first. So with Addison's, we're going to go with hyper first. So you're going to see hypercalcemia, and then we go to hypo. Hypo, hyper, hypo. And like I said, the tension, which refers to uh, the blood pressure, it doesn't follow the trend, it doesn't follow the pattern. So we're going to repeat hypo. And then you go back to cushions again. With cushions, we're going to go the other way around, and we're going to start with hypo. So we're going to see hypocalcemia, hyperglycemia, hypokalemia, hypernatremia. Again, it doesn't follow the trend. So tension doesn't follow the trend. You're also going to see hypertension. So that's a quick way for you to remember the key differences. You can practice this and then get used to it.